Okay, YouTube family, let's talk about it. It's your favorite girl. Okay, guys, so let's do a reaction to you guys' favorite people on Instagram and on YouTube. So let's talk about y'all boy. It's your boy, CJ. Okay, so CJ took to his Instagram to post a quote from a, you know, and I know him. I, if I'm not mistaken, he's a pastor. I could be wrong. He looked like um, Shawnee O'Neal husband. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But he was speaking on the woman in the bed with the snake. Now, you know how CJ is. He drops shit for attention. He want people to make videos like I'm doing right now. <laughs> so he's talking about sleeping in the bed with a snake. Who who? Who in the bed is a snake with you, um, CJ? Because we know damn well Sideshow Bob not sleeping in the bed with you. She get in the bed, do what she do, and you put her ass out the bed. So I don't know who the hell you could be talking about, CJ, because it's not her. We we all know. I just cannot picture CJ and Sideshow Bob cuddling. Drop down in the comments if you could picture them two cuddling. It ain't, I, I just, I don't believe it. I don't give a damn how they get on here and try to pretend like they this and that is not what it appears to be. Who agree with me? If you agree with me, drop down in the comments, all right? So let's get to the next clip. So CJ talking about his phone is missing. His phone, his second phone is missing. I don't know, CJ, you got all these new people all up in the house, right? Walking all through the house and shit. You don't know who took your goddamn phone. Probably Big Red. Probably Big Delusional Big Red. But then again, you know, she probably told BM, because you know, she's a bobblehead. She probably told her, go in there and get his phone so they can look through it. And hopefully CJ got a code on it, but then, you know, they'll take it back to Gary and have one of them Gary people the uh <laughs> <laughs> break into the goddamn phone. So that's them. To see what the hell is going on. Hmm. Drop down in the comments. Do y'all think CJ was just uploading these clips because he want us to talk about it? Or is this some type of subliminal message? What y'all think is really going on? Y'all think one of them bobbleheads took his phone? <laughs> Drop down in the damn comments. So what y'all think about CJ new video that he put up? Now, I see y'all in the comments saying that, you know, CJ was trying to insinuate that the situation that supposedly happened on Christmas did not happen. But some of you guys in the comments believe with all of y'all heart that something did happen. At the end of the day, I don't give a damn. I just get on here and talk about it, put my video up and keep it moving. <laughs> But anywho, y'all, let's talk about side show Bob. So she took the dog out for some ice cream. I bet a million dollars. <laughs> Allegedly. That after he licked off it, she licked off it. Because that's what they do. They nasty like that. They dogs be kissing them in the face. They will feed the dogs off their spoon. And then she go right back to the house and go kiss CJ after her dog don't lick all up in the goddamn face. I know he be smelling her. I know she be smelling like dog. <laughs> Child, <laughs> drop down in the goddamn comments. Who is a pet lover? Do you let your dog eat off the spoon that you eat off? Drop down in the goddamn comments. Next clip. Looks like she did a lot of window shopping. She went out trying on watches, trying on necklaces. Girl, you did all of that for what? We know you ain't got no damn money. So why is you in these people's stores wasting time asking them, can you try on this damn jewelry when you have no intentions on buying? What is your point, ma'am? Is you trying to make it seem like you balling? Girl, we don't care. We don't care about you trying on no shit. If you ain't got the receipts where you pay for it, bitch, we don't care. Drop down in the comments. Who saw her with all this goddamn window shopping? Girl, go take your ass home. Go sit in front of your computer. Submit your resume. And go get you a goddamn job. Now, let's go back to this video that she uploaded about her not going above and beyond the extra mile and out of her way in 2024. And she's already going out of her way already to prove to people that she's out on the shopping spree and she's not. So, ma'am, you're definitely going out of your way. So, let's talk about this picture Sideshow Bob uploaded to her Instagram with the caption... New Year's go. Is it New Year's or New Year? <laughs> go to live happily. Girl, bye. And if you think you're going to live that with CJ, you're sadly mistaken, girl. When do you get the hint? 
he don't want you. But CJ all up in the comments, you know, because he already know people was going to look to see if he comment talking about, I can't leave you alone. CJ, just stop. <laughs> you can leave her alone. Just, just stop, CJ. You were just trying to make her feel good about herself. Because <laughs> we all know you don't feel that way. <laughs> you only dealing with her ass because royalty is not in the picture. You only dealing with her because you think messing with this bobblehead is making royalty jealous. And trust me, trust me, it's not working. She has nothing. I mean nothing on royalty. She has to do too much to look like something. Royalty can sling her hair back in a ponytail and she a 10. <laughs> royalty is naturally pretty. Which I got to understand with Sideshow Bob and Delusional Big Red. They have to do shit to themselves to make them look like something. Royalty don't have to do that. That's why they mad. That's why both of their asses is mad. So let's talk about our girl life with royalty. Now royalty uploaded a couple of videos speaking on what has been going on with her life. And she did speak on her car being repo due to hard times but she was able to get it back now what i don't understand is why it's so much hate around this situation everybody in the world had hard times so i don't understand her being vulnerable you know being that you guys support her that she felt comfortable with letting you guys know what happened with her her vehicle but to be judged and talked about because this happened is just, it's really sad. And it's really sad because, you know, she's a single mother. She has five kids and she's doing things the best that she can without any help from the fathers. Not to mention one of them is rich. One of them is very rich. And because... He gets his kids a few days out of the month. He feels like, well, I get the kids, so I shouldn't have to pay child support. You know, a man that really have it don't mind sending money to support his kids because he knows that his kids is in that environment. Any man that can come to the internet and be happy because he don't have to pay child support is, is sad. It's sadder than a motherfucker. Child, ladies, y'all got to be careful who y'all have babies with, okay? Trust me, when a man show you who he is one time, believe it. All right? Believe that shit, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Now, drop down in the comments. What is the real issue with royalty? Why is so much hate behind this person? What did she do to y'all? Drop down in the comments. Comments are open for a discussion. Until the next video.